personified their journeys, a testament to the female pioneers who paved the way for all of us. Over the next 30 minutes, we'll introduce you to a few faces of feminism right here in central New York. And as Carrie Lazarus shows us, there's a chance they might just end up alongside hundreds of other legends on the walls of an American institution. Welcome to Seneca Falls. It was in this tiny upstate New York town that the women's rights movement was born. That was in 1848. Today, it's home to the National Women's Hall of Fame. Victoria Jackson, you are now inducted into the National Women's Hall of Fame. This is the 50th anniversary of the hall, honoring American women for their enduring contributions to the nation and the world. RBG. RBG, <laughs> the notorious. And yeah. she embraces that. Yeah, she certainly does. <laughs> There are 276 women on these walls. Edith Wharton. I oh, love yeah. her books. And Authors, astronauts, actresses, athletes, and of course, the suffragists. Many are world famous. I think she's local. Some you've never heard of. And that's the beauty when people come to the hall and they look around and they ask themselves, why don't I know about this person? Why don't I know who invented pediatric cardiac surgery techniques? You know, that kind of question. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> there are artifacts, the program from Billie Jean King's match with Bobby Riggs, this outfit donated by Amelia Earhart's family, the torch carried from Seneca Falls to a women's march in Texas. There was one of two of them, the other one's at the Smithsonian. And many items are in storage because the hall has outgrown its space. But that's about to change. The old Seneca Knitting Mill, four times the size of the current hall, will be the new Women's Hall of Fame. I mean, this is challenging, such an old building. Built when the women's rights movement was born, it's being turned into a world-class showplace for the history of American women. Even our small little hall is inspiring, and this will be uh, so much better. It's here on the third floor that the past and the present really come together. Visitors can look over the water and see the Wesleyan Chapel, the site of the Women's Rights Convention in 1848. Your company built skyscrapers and sports stadiums. What is it about this project in Little Seneca Falls? <laughs> There's nothing little about this project. This is a special project that will leave a community um, stronger and better and leave a history and honor women that have done incredible things. Because it's really taking shape. The new Hall of Fame is being built in phases. Organizers are fundraising one floor at a time. The first phase of the project is expected to be completed by September, just in time for the induction of this year's class. At the future National Women's Hall of Fame in Seneca Falls, New York, I'm Carrie Lazarus.